What's happening is Len Davis with Pangeality Productions, and I'm up here in a village in the foothills of the Himalayas in Nepal. The village is called Helambu, and at this beautiful school today it happens to be the science fair. I first came to this village 20 years ago, and so it's been a pleasure to see the growth of this school. I've come back four or five times, and the headmaster is a friend of mine who I amazingly can now keep in touch with easily. They have internet in the school up here in the village. So I wanted to show you just two of the exhibits here that are part of the science fair in this Sri Malamchi Gao Secondary School. The first one is this hydraulic crane. And can you, what, what are you making here? This is an hydraulic crane. Hydraulic crane? It is okay. based on the Pascal law. It's what? Pascal law. Pascal law? Yes. Okay, can you show me how it works? Yes, it works when the piston is Rest, it gives the force okay. to this piston, and this works like this. Okay, so you have three different, how many different four, uh, pistons? Four pistons. Four? Yes. When this piston is pressed, the first force will work, and it helps to pull the uh, more of the land. When this is pressed, this goes a bit front, and this works. Nice. Amazing. And so you are sharing this with all the other students in the school to show them how this works? Yes. Beautiful. And did you have success with your experiment? Success? Is it working? Yes. Properly? Great. And then who's... Can I see the solar heater group? So whose who's experiment is it? Yes. So can you, can you bring, come down a little bit? And explain to me what's happening here. Explain yeah, this uh, cold water from here is here comes through this tube. Yes. And enter in this tank. Okay. And then it enter to this black pipe. Okay. And the sun, uh, the black pipe absorb the sun water. Okay. Sun ray. And it absorb the black uh, any black things absorb more sun heat and it absorb and the water of the water molecule becomes heated and it rises up and comes out of here. Nice. And what would you be, wh where would this be used? How would, hot water is used how? Water is used for many purposes like bathing, bathing, and uh -huh. washing clothes, okay, any, uh, any, any other purpose. Great. And did you have success with your experiment? Yes, a little bit of success. Nice. Yeah. What went wrong? What? You said little bit of success? Yeah. Some failure? We have some leakage due to the lack of materials. Leakage due to the lack of materials. Okay. Materials for So plastic. the water goes in up top first and then it comes down through here and yeah. goes in there and then in the black tubes yeah. is drawing more heat. Yeah. So that will heat the water? Yeah. Nice. And I don't know if you can... It says one schoolmaster is worth a thousand priests. Nice. Thank you for sharing your science e exhibition with me. Welcome. So once again, just stumbled upon the science fair up in this Himalayan village. And so impressive to see uh, what they're doing with such limited resources and just beautiful. I mean, scientific concepts that as a 40-year-old I have, you know, I couldn't explain myself, but I'm happy to see. You know, the solar water heater and the hydraulic crane maybe, but some other uh, chemical stuff that I didn't show that's a part of the larger science fair that are going on over there. And it's a boarding school, so this is where the boys stay and the girls stay on the other side of that building. So fresh. So again, Len Davis with Pangeality Productions. I'm a Seattle-based filmmaker, but I'm up here trekking in the Himalayas, and I'm in a village in the foothills. Came up to this school where I first visited 20 years ago, and just so happy to see the growth and progress uh, of what's going on here. It's amazing. Much love. Stay fresh.